Welcome to Astoria Film Festival 2020. We're happy to talk today with Mo Alassini, Ramon Alamon, and Katrina Siobhan as they discuss guerrilla filmmaking and Katrina and Mo's film, Violet. You can watch Violet under the Steinway session in our online festival. Mm -hmm. So basically just, if you can kind of go around the room, if you will, and just state your name and what you do and um, kind of how you got into your field. Ladies first. Katrina, <laughs> go ahead. Very well. My name is Katrina Siobhan and I am an actress and filmmaker who recently has also started doing a lot of producing as well. Uh, I started a dance career at the age of three years old, um, small town, didn't have an acting school. So the best next thing was dancing school. And I basically lived there every day after school. Um, and it was a dear passion of mine. And got into acting as I got a little older and I had a little bit more knowledge of it. And when I came to New York, um, I was definitely a struggling like waitress at that point, you know, <laughs> and not being able to um, flourish or work on my career at all until much later on. So I'm a late blossom, I would say, um, as far as the, the acting world. And just, um, I don't know, as a kid, I would literally walk around with like a, a video camera and like record stuff and... I was always putting on productions and things in my house. Like it's just something that's natural and something that I was born to do and a big passion for me. And so, yeah, as I got older, um, you know, moved to New York with like a backpack on a Greyhound bus. It was like 17 or whatever, <laughs> 17 and a half. Sounds like a country music song. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> it really is. Um, but no, and then, you know, luckily I've been recently enough to just be able to focus on my acting and producing and filmmaking um, as much as possible and just very grateful to be able to work with, you know, some of the members in this group as well in this panel, uh, working on different projects. And I just, yeah, every day I'm just working on something new, creating, just constantly creating working with new people, expanding. I knew, I know Katrina, so I know she's always setting the bar too high for everyone. So <laughs> I'm gonna be short. Um, my Never name is too Mo. high. I, yeah. <laughs> uh, so my name is Mo. I'm a, a bridge engineer um, slash designer. Um, oh, wow. I grew up in the, yeah, uh, that's another fun fact. I, I have a master's <laughs> degree from Stevens Institute in uh, Hoboken, New Jersey. And, uh, Photography, videography has always been my passion, and uh, I've never stopped doing it. It was my every every time I wanted to, you know, even even when I was young, I wanted to change my phone because oh, the new iPhone has a better camera in it. Until I realized, okay, it's time for me to get an actual camera, and that was it. Once I picked up a camera, it was my passion, and uh, I've uh, I've been working with great people um, like Katrina. I've known Katrina for long, so we created many, uh, let's say, uh, videos and, and, and many photo scenes. She's, she's a talented person, so I always have a lot of fun when you have someone to share this experience with and create something that's fun, something that people will be like, oh, wow, uh, uh, this is awesome. We should, you know, take it to the next level. So hopefully that's uh, coming up soon. And yeah, that's a little bit about me. Awesome. That's it. Well, I'm, I'm going to keep it short. <laughs> no, no, we'll, we'll, we'll continue. We'll, to be continued. Good, good, good. Yeah. Ramon. All right. So, name is Ramon Alaman. Um, been in the field for a, a while. Um, I started out doing radio. I did radio for about 10 years. Um, and I was like, I kind of hit that plateau effect where I wasn't going down, but I wasn't going up either. It's like, let me just transition over to TV and film and stuff like that. And it's been a blessing, you know, I was able to get into the union, I was able to get to do stunts because I have a martial arts background also. Um, been on many shows such as Gotham, Power, The Blacklist, Blue Bloods, etc. So I kind of have that feel what it is to work on set, whether it's a big production or small production. And as long as you always bring the same energy, the same work ethic, you're always going to have a good time. Definitely. And um, ha have you worked with Katrina? 
Yeah, we've, uh, we've, we've known each other for many years. We were working on some choreography for a fight scene she has coming up in a practice that she has, um, she's working on. Awesome. And also, um, you know, we just trained personally together, you know, in boxing, kickboxing, stuff like that. So we have a professional connection and a friendship connection. So, you know, I've known her for about four or five years already. Wonderful. And uh, yeah. so, Katrina, do you want to tell us a little about Violet? Your film? Violet, yep, Violet. Oh, Violet. And you spell yeah. it with two T's, it makes it all fancy. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's actually really interesting how I came up. So we shot, we shot, we shot the sequence first. And then after I started kind of digging because I wanted a really good title and I wanted it to be her name, but I wasn't sure I wanted something really, really good. So I started digging <laughs> and looking up double agents, like real female double agents. Oh, wow. uh, and I found her and she's like, she's, she's from uh, Paris. Her parents are like different one was like a taxi driver. It was a great, amazing story, but she was actually a real double agent and her name was Violet. And there, I, I didn't want to pull too, too much of it because it's not a documentary and it's, I didn't want it to, to connect in that sense, mm -hmm. but I did get the name from it and it's actually a real, a real Perfect. double agent female. Yeah. Who is in Wikipedia and you can look her up mm -hmm. and she's in a Was it a World War II thing? Yeah. And she had a lot of stuff that was so interesting because she like had lived in London and then Paris. See, it was just really interesting to find. And it was someone who I could relate to. I could actually kind of look like a relative of some sort with her, which I wanted to find someone like that too, that actually I could play into part. If I kind of wanted to take it there, I could say like, perhaps she's my great, great grandmother or something like that. So it was kind of a cool connection. So I found um, someone who looked, you know, similar or I could play off as being a relative. And so, yeah, Violet was a real, a real woman. And I like that because I love period pieces and history, history and historical things. So it was important to get to find something that it brings more value and, and substance to the film. So, you know, cause the thing with filming too, especially with me and Mo, we kind of, we did, we, there was no rehearsing. There was, we really just went in and just, gorilla right. did and we did a great job and it was just yeah. so amazing <laughs> how we were able to accomplish that together and it was freezing you know we were outside in location in new york it was There's, cold yeah it's yeah, freezing yeah. <laughs> it was freezing <laughs> <laughs> yeah. mo do you want to talk a little more about kind of what it took for on the side for dp and directing yeah um, so like Katrina said, it was, it was a unique experience because we didn't really rehearse for it. Like it was with no rehearsal. We just, we talked about ideas. We kind of like, uh, brainstormed some, some visual locations, some mm -hmm. of the, um, outfits maybe. Um, and sometimes it's like a story that unfolds as you start shooting it, you start mm -hmm. talking about it. Uh, obviously you're, you get always more creative when someone else is listening to your ideas and like elaborating and giving you a little bit more here and there so it started you know and unfolding itself and it was uh, exciting we we didn't even want to stop shooting we kept shooting we kept moving from one spot to the next um obviously it was a one-man show i want to i don't want to say one-man show because some of the shots <laughs> i was in it she katrina was like actually you know the the the, the you know cameraman or the camera woman, i should say camera woman. <laughs> <laughs> so um, and editing it was a whole different story because those clips were shot separately and to make it look like they were actually following each other, especially when you were in a, in a subway, um, it, it was not easy to kind of edit that footage because we shot it separately and it's hard not mm -hmm. to show. I mean, obviously it would have been a lot easier if we had a, you know, a whole crew working with us. But like I said, it was, it was more of a, an idea that we worked on it, um, uh, it wasn't planned too far because sometimes when you plan something mm -hmm. too far, I've had so many projects that I planned so far and never happened just because of, you know, keep planning it, planning it. Yes. It's better to do it now and, mm -hmm. you know, just move on to the next one. The next one's going to be better. Uh, mm -hmm. I prefer to just keep doing things rather than planning for it because I'm a professionist and I'm going to be in Katrina's mm -hmm. too probably. So <laughs> yes. if you're going to keep planning for it, it'll never happen. So uh, we have so much, uh, ideas that we want to work on but hopefully you know hopefully now you know covid is gonna slow down people are gonna go back to normal uh, okay. if it wasn't for that we probably have been already with our third or fourth uh, uh you know short film now so hopefully 
very soon we'll go back on track. And Ramon, what are you up to these days? Like what are your current projects? So right now, um, I think basically being that major production is still kind of getting back to like starting shooting again. Not much is really going on. I just still do the stunt training, fight choreography, and just um, trying to like uh, just build up more with the stunt world because it's a whole different aspect as far as working on film goes. Be because you have to incorporate being an actor and a fighter at the same time. So you have to have two different hats on at the same time. So um, for the most part, just working on that and uh, you know doing some monologues here and there just to keep the mind sharp with acting. And you know, for the most part, just um, wait to see how things go. As far as production, I think things will probably start up maybe in late October, mid-October, hopefully. Uh, SAG just signed a deal with uh, AMTP. I'm not sure if I'm saying the initials correctly. And um, supposedly they're working on the deal together and going this and the third, but still, if somebody wants to shoot an improv shoe, I'm down for it. Because you always have to keep the tools sharpened by always doing some kind of work, whether it's stunt or acting or both. And Mo, what are you up to these days? What's your current project? Um, I'm, 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 honestly, this September has been very busy, October too, thankfully. I mean, we want to go back to work. We want to be busy. Uh, it was a slow period of time, um, but now there's a lot of, I, 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 um, I started and I, I'm a founder of my own studio. I do photography as well. I do a lot of uh, fashion, which sadly now it's stopped, but hopefully we'll go back soon. But I'm always looking for the next project. There's, uh, if you have anything in mind, hit me up, let me know. <laughs> I will. And Katrina, yeah, what absolutely. are you working on now? So oh, yes, I'm, I'm very busy, thankfully. A lot of voiceover work during the COVID time, during the Star Trek animation voiceover. We just signed on for uh, season two, which we will start recording soon. Um, and, you, and you guys too, Ramon is actually, um, and it's good, they're meeting for the first time here on Zoom, but uh, actually Ramon is doing the fight choreography hey, <laughs> for what I've been wor working with Melissa as part two of Violet. So the continuation Great. scene. Um, which Mo will be shooting. So as soon as we get all of that um, together, we will be shooting that part too and making it a little bit of a longer scenario and, and film and maybe even um, as a series and things yeah. like that. But I'm There's working so on much that. There's potential there. I look forward to it. Yeah, definitely. Action adventure. It's really exciting. There's a lot of stuff, especially with the political and governmental side of things right now too. So there's a lot of that involved in the script and the writing which is important and for what's going on globally um but yeah i'm also doing uh i am the creator and producer of the the new series the glitch which is a 1955s re retro sci-fi comedy which i don't yeah. usually do comedy i really like kind of this more serious type actiony stuff but i'm trying to dig i'm just doing everything right now you know with the voiceover has brought in some comedy it's definitely has some adult swim style there in there. Um, but this one is really cool because it's, it's 1955. So it's been a, it's been challenging just to get the proper sets coordinated um, for that. But I really enjoy that one. It's kind of like a little bit Lucy meets like something else. It's, it's, <laughs> it's got some, it's really cool. So yeah, I'm working on a bunch of stuff and I can't wait for us to start shooting uh, part two of Violet and we can all get to working together again. Absolutely, and um, let's do it. <laughs> how can people? How can people uh, reach you? Like, if you want to give your website or Instagram handle, kind of going down the line, Katrina. Yeah, so my Instagram is Katrina Siobhan. <laughs> and what else? I have you know YouTube, Vimeo, uh, IMDb is Katrina Siobhan. It's all Katrina Siobhan. <laughs> Mo. Yeah, moalassini.com uh, is my website, and moalassini is my Instagram as well. Uh, uh, feel free to reach out anytime. And Ramon? Uh, yes, um, Instagram, very simple. My name, Ramon BX. And um, on um, IMDb, it's Ramon Alaman. Last name is A L E M A N. And anything you guys want to say before we wrap up? Kind of going down the line again. Ramon, we'll start with you, go backwards. And with Katrina. Yeah, so pretty much, um, yeah, no matter what the situation is, always work on your craft. I know that during the pandemic, some people were, you know, a little bit down, more of a kind of lower vibe spirit. But the main, part, main thing is you got to use that time to develop character, 
develop the mental emotional fortitude to become stronger and mm-hmm. that's the best thing that I can say to people. Mo? Yeah, again, thanks for having us. It's always a pleasure to work with talented people like Ramon and Katrina. Uh, and thanks to you for organizing it. And uh, hopefully we'll see you guys soon with another project. That would be wonderful. Yes, mm-hmm. Katrina? Yeah, I'm very excited to be part of Astoria Film Festival this year. I, I lived in Astoria for more than 15 years. Um, and I'm wow. very close now, right in Long Island City. So I didn't go too far, but... I, uh, I love Astoria and Kaufman Studios. I, I've been there on set and background many, many years, you know, so I have a lot of history there and I'm very proud and thankful to be a part of this festival. So thank you so much. Thank you. I, I appreciate having you guys yeah. involved.